for each tribe went as the spies. You know the story. Ten of them came back and said, oh, no, 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 no. This looks really, really, really bad. I want to know what you think of the United States. I want to know if you think, no, 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 no. This is really, really bad. What about the nation you live in? Because you need to read the Word of God. It says that people will come from every nation and every tribe, and they will stand before the Lord God Almighty. This has not yet happened. It's still in the future. International revival is on the threshold. And you might say, no, 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 no. There's giants in the land. There's big cities. What am I? I'm just a grasshopper. I can't do anything. And ten guys who were just looking through the natural eye and watching CNN. <laughs> They're the ones that came back and said, we can't do it. It's impossible. The church is a mess. Go ahead, but then there's somebody else who says, you know what? Jesus has the last word. Yeah. And what he says is unstoppable. Joshua was a man like that. And instead of seeing the darkness, he just stood his ground and pressed on. He and Caleb were the only two out of 12 who came back and said, no, this land is takeable. Yeah, there's giants there. Yeah, there's big walled cities. Yeah, this is a difficult place, but not for our God. It's time for us to believe the word of the Lord and to press on and to take this land and to take our inheritance. The promised land is promised. Let's go. Come on. So who are you? And what kind of person are you? Are you being dragged behind the bus? Or are you in the driver's seat? You're in the driver's seat, don't you? Yeah, I know. And so you should be. Because there is a need for you to be tenacious. To have tenacity through tumultuous 